Hey everyone, this is Tony from Sack Studios, and I'd like to introduce to you to my little buddy Max. He's a teacup Yorkie that my wife and I rescued a couple years ago, and he's been part of our family ever since. Now, I'm going to do a tutorial today in Photoshop on blending some pictures together to make it look like one. So, before we do that, though, you got to see this crazy corgi. Yeah. Which causes this explosion. Whoa, shit. What was that? The house just caught on fire. Ah, uh, you're welcome. So I wish I could take credit for this, but this is actually from a new channel called The Pet Collective. And I think it's going to be really big here on YouTube. If you really like pet channels, things with pets, cats, dogs, this is the channel for you. It's a central place for all pet awesomeness. And uh, I'm a big dog person like my buddy here Max and uh, you know if you like it click here to subscribe and um, you know like I said I highly recommend it it's uh, gonna be the go-to place for all pet shows and things on YouTube they even got a show on there about a cat who likes to do battle with home appliances you can't beat it so if you like it subscribe and tell them I sent you Hey guys, thanks for sticking with me. Now I would like to mention in the video that I just showed you with the dog, the dog was not harmed. He was far away before the explosion actually happened. I just wanted to make that clear so no one thinks that, uh, you know, I'm animal cruelty or anything because I would never show anything like that. I love dogs and uh, animals way too much. But I want to jump into our tutorial like I was talking about. Now we're going to use my, my good buddy Max here today. So we're going to go ahead and open up i got three photos of Max. Now, what you're going to want to do, see, you see how these open? One, two, and three. Now, I took these, um, it was getting dark, so it was low light, um, so that's why it's a little grainy. I'm sorry about that, but I took these from a tripod. Um, you have to do this from a tripod, and the camera has to be perfectly still when this happens for it to work correctly. Now, you see we've got three pictures of Max. He's in different spots on the couch. Now I'm going to show you how to merge these pictures in, into one and make it look like he is in three different spots without having to remove him from each the other picture and put him in using uh, the refine edge and all that. So we're gonna, we got our background, our first picture. We're just going to leave it alone for now. Let's go ahead and click on our second picture and we're just gonna go ahead and highlight the whole thing. There's a different method you can use to do this, but in the interest of this tutorial, we're just gonna copy and paste to make things easier. So we just paste it, Control V, or you can go up to and uh, paste. Now to copy the other picture here, I did Control C. Of course, you can just go up and do copy if you like. So the next one. We're going to go ahead and select the picture, and we're going to copy it, go back to here, and we're going to paste. So we have our backgrounds and a layer all on top of each other. So first of all, we're going to need some layer masks. So let's go ahead and add a layer mask to the top two layers. Now we're not going to need to add one to the background because it's there anyway. So let's start with our first layer here. We want to make sure the mask is selected and we want to make sure we have black selected as our color and a soft brush. Now I've got about, these pictures are high res so the brush size is about 150 you may need to adjust uh, as needed. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do is just kind of go over some of this area. It's, it's actually good to start at the very top and we'll uh, We'll do is we'll start over here and you just start going around and by using the mask you're uncovering this part of what you want to uncover in this case it's max and so now we already have him looking like he's in two different spots so we'll come down here we'll uncover this area here now you won't see anything at first because this side has to be uncovered in two different layers. So don't worry if you don't see anything right away. 
So see now you come up. We're gonna uncover Max on this side, sitting on the couch. And this is why it's crucial that you have a tripod and you take all three pictures the same. So let's go ahead. Come back down here. Make sure we get him all in frame. And we've got a little shadow around here. We can actually clean that up by switching to white and just kind of getting rid of some of that there that way. Okay. Okay. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. Um, at this point, you can select your top layer, hit Control, Alt, Shift, and the letter E. It's going to merge it all into one picture at the top. And then uh, we can go ahead and use our crop tool just to crop out these guys. And there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Uh, it's really helpful if you want to do cute little things like this. So I took my buddy Max there and it looks like there's three of them sitting on one couch. So it's the easy way to do it. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for stopping by. You can follow us on Twitter. Um, or Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash psych studios, uh, or twitter.com slash psych underscore studios. So, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, um, comment. If you have any suggestions or anything you'd like to see, let me know. There's a lot coming down the line. I'm just now learning the Creative Cloud. There's a whole lot to it, a lot of programs, and things are different in the CS6 series, so it's taking a while to acclimate. But, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you enjoyed it.